before we introduce our next guest, let's set the stage. Cody Rhodes is still the World Heavyweight Champion on Raw, providing some stability after a tumultuous period that saw several champions come and go. I don't understand why we do these recaps. Our audience watches the product. Nonetheless, I'll play ball. On SmackDown, after continuing to dominate, the Dark Horse has become the Workhorse, now holding the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for three plus years. Didn't Miz and Roman Reigns think the champion stint would only last three days? And now he's approaching Roman's record-setting run. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why don't we ask Miz about that misguided prediction right now? Please welcome our guests, the SmackDown and Raw General Managers, The Miz and William Regal. First of all, I take offense to the accusation that I ever doubted my champion. I know how to pick a horse, and in this case, I was behind the dark horse since day one. That's rubbish. You never wanted him to be champion, and you've done everything in your power to try to put an end to his reign. Don't insult the audience, Mike. They watch the product. That's what I've been saying. You want to do this, Regal? At least I have a cohesive show. No one can keep track of what's going on on Raw. It's like a freaking middle school play. Guys, come on. How do you even know what's happening on your show? You're too busy or filming episodes of your terrible reality show that no one watches. You just think you're better than me because you've made a living on the myth that you're some kind of technical wrestling genius. Well, I'm here to tell you, no one who matters cares. I agree with some of what you said. I am better than you. That's why they made me the general manager of the A-Show. Okay, maybe we take a break, yeah? No, we're not finished here. You think Raw is the A-Show? Yes, I do. But we can officially answer that question in the ring at Survivor Series. War Games! Fine. SmackDown will see you and beat you at War Games. You're pathetic. We'll see who's pathetic, mate. Okay, let's get to that break. I am absolutely done with that overrated, blubbering British buffoon Regal. He thinks Raw is better than SmackDown? Well, at War Games, the blue brand will reign supreme, especially with you as our team captain leading the way. Hold on. Did you just name me SmackDown's team captain? Yeah, why wouldn't I? You're our champion. You've had the title on lockdown for years now. Yeah, despite everything you've done to try to take it from me. I mean... I assumed you were going to pick anyone but me. Where is this coming from? You sound like Regal. I've been Team Dark Horse since the beginning. Man, I am shocked you think I feel that way. Whatever, Miz. Who else do you have to round out our side? I got your old BFF Finn Balor on board. You're welcome. And even better, I'm going to let you choose your other two teammates. See? Told you I'm on your side. I still find that hard to believe. So Finn and two other partners of my choice. I'll see what I can come up with. Great. Make sure you choose carefully, though. Since Raw has all champions and an established faction making up three quarters of their team. But no pressure. You got this.
<laughs> Grayson, shouldn't you be down in NXT losing title matches? <laughs> Hilarious. But full disclosure, the Grayson Waller effect has lost some momentum ever since you lost in NXT and caught me off guard. That's one way to describe it, but why are you here? First of all, the biggest box office superstar can go wherever he wants. But I'm here because I have the perfect way to rejuvenate my career. I waltz in the SmackDown and beat the WWE Universal Champion. For someone who just admitted they've been on a cold streak, I don't see that happening. Besides, I already beat you twice. Actually, more than twice since our rematch was an Iron Man. But you never once put your WWE Universal Championship on the line in our matches while I risk the NXT title. It's only fair if you give me a chance at your gold now. I'm not sure you understand the meaning of fair, but what's in it for me? I heard you're looking to fill out your side for Survivor Series, and who better to team with than a former War Games winner like myself? Of course, Miz would probably make me team captain once I'm WWE Universal Champion, but we'll worry about those details later. Ah, fine. I'll give you a title opportunity in exchange for considering you as a teammate. But don't back out when I beat you again. Good on ya. And same goes for you when I'm the champ. But again, we'll worry about those details later. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship! Here comes the next big thing in WWE. Yeah, according to Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller has no respect for tradition and basically wants to dismantle the old guard of NXT. I fail to see the problem, Saxton. You better respect Waller because he's the future of NXT and WWE. Like him or hate him, Waller can do some amazing things in the ring, and I can't wait to see it. Galloping into history, defying all odds, it's the Dark Horse. Well, the way this guy stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more you have to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. It's time to silence the critics and make some noise. Introducing the challenger from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, Grayson Waller! And his
his opponent from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, weighing in at 254 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse, Ryan Rage. I have a feeling we're about to see a classic, gentlemen. You can see the desire in these competitors' eyes reflected right back at them in the shine of that championship's gold. These two are no strangers to each other. It's off into the pin, and the champ only gets a count of one. Resilient. Ouch. Oh, my God. In the arm for a Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. From down below, ouch! Ripcord applied. Oh, and a forearm. Hits him with the counter. Nice calf kick, great elevation. Oof. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. A shot like that to the ego could really shake you up mentally. Look at this. Suicide dive! That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. And he tosses him back in now. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. Getting a pretty clear picture of the kind of disdain the champ has for the challenger. A oh, double knee face breaker. Grayson now undertaking a barrage. But Grayson can't let this flourish derail him. What a headbutt. Vicious. Transition. Uh, he's in complete control. Opponent has nowhere to go. Could be tap out. Boot to the face will free him. Uh oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Butterfly pile driver. He's definitely being the aggressor here. Just an onrush of offense here. Would you are armbar applied? Making sure the champ will have difficulty carrying anything. Pop right in the stomach creates the separation. Oh, I had that well scouted. Tombstone maneuver coming. Wait, no. Long, long. Will the rain continue for the win? He's on the ropes. The official sees it and waves off the pen. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. And now gets tossed into the ring. Setting them up. This is going to be nasty. The burning hammer. Saw that coming. And that's going to jam Grayson's offense. Here's the pin to retain. That's it. The champ stays the champ. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. Here is your winner, and still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, The Dark Horse, Ryan Rage. Nobody can
can keep the WWE Universal Champion down. The right man might not have shown up yet, but he will sooner or later, and this fluke run will finally end. He came out here and defended what was his. You have to give him credit. I'm going to get right to the point. You need me for war games. Okay, I'll cut to the chase too. I'm 3-0 against you. So what makes you think you're worthy of being part of Team SmackDown? I've been in two War Games matches with just two more than your zero. And Finn, he's never been in one either. You need my experience. In fact, you guys should be begging me to join your team. I don't know about all that. And even if I did want you on our team, I don't think there's any way I could trust you. You don't need to trust me. I'll be your hired gun. You tell me who to take out and I'll get the job done. I'll think about it. No, I meant that literally. Tell me who to take out and I'll go do it. I shouldn't have to, but if it proves you need me for war games, then I will. Okay, fine. But I want you to do this in an actual match, not attacking someone from behind like you usually do. Whatever, just name an opponent. Go try to beat Damian Priest. Then we'll talk. Done. We're in for a brawl with Kevin Owens tonight. With KO, it's a brawl every night. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! Throughout his career, KO has let it be known he will fight anyone, anywhere. Truly, Kevin Owens has no hint of fear in his being. K.O. has one scary temper, and that's only half of what has made him successful. Yeah, I mean, he's only the 16th freaking Grand Slam champion in history. The punishment has arrived. And Priest is more than happy to utilize brute force to get what he wants. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Priest has truly embraced his deepest, darkest side, and I couldn't be happier. We've seen Priest and the rest of Judgment Day destroy families, put competitors in the hospital. What, just to get ahead? For Priest, the ends justify the means. This man's got to make the most of his opportunities before Kevin Owens creates chaos. Yeah, once Owens takes control, this match is over. Kevin Owens always has a malicious look in his eye, but tonight I'm seeing an extra violent twinkle. Now, there are rumors that the WWE Universal Champion is looking at Kevin Owens for a possible War Games partner. Kevin is out to prove himself as one of SmackDown's best weapons against Raw. KO didn't do himself any favors when he picked this opponent. He's got a tough hill to climb to prove himself here tonight. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Rear chin lock and now just rapid fire punches. Owens on the attack. He just turned this into the KO show. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Here we go. Oh, an exploder suplex. And Priest's size and agility is negated as he faltered there. Owens will be dangerous if he can keep dishing out offense like that. Oh, my, what a 
nice splash. Massive damage to the whole body. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. He's positioning himself, closing in. No. Slip shot, Senton, yes. Risking it all and able to connect like a homing missile. And gets tossed back into the mat. Oh, God. And the momentum's clearly against Priest now. Yeah, now Priest has to fight against the momentum against him. Oh, my goodness. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. And if the first stomp doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. And into the count. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Just look at KO taking control here. Owens is holding nothing back. That is the kind of move that leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. Splash! That was more splatter than splash. Priest dodges out of that. He just barely dodges. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. What a barrage of stops. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. How are they going to hear after this match? And Priest is brought to a disadvantage now. Priest has to find a way to right the ship here. Oh, it's with a pop-up powerbomb. A controlled rage coming from KO now. Time to go for a ride. Exploder suplex. Hits to the core like that will render you useless. From the ring all the way to the floor. Taking it outside the ring now. Thrown back in under the ropes. I don't think Priest knows what's coming. Catches the leg. Bring it back with their own count. Momentum going back to Owens' corner. Owens showing it's not time for lying down. It's time for fighting back. Owens taking the upper hand in a big way. This has become all. out of the way. Forearm oh. smash! And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Wait a minute, left hand. Owens gets control. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. Here it comes. Hooked up. And, oh, man, up and down with a twist. Uh-oh. Snow Owens stun. And Owens might just have this. There's two. And now will about do it, folks. Let's look back on the action from the last match. with the W here tonight. Damian Priest in utter shock with this result, but you can bet he'll come back with a new approach to his game plan.
Listen to this frenzy for L.A. Knight. If any dummies out there don't know, now they know. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight will hand out a beatdown to anybody, any night of the week. It doesn't matter to him. not missing his chance it's all about it's a superstar who couldn't be denied and now electrifies the WWE Universe and his opponent from Robbinsdale Minnesota Weighing in at 254 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse, Ryan Rage. And just listen to that crowd. He's a Universal Champion who is quickly becoming universally beloved. More like universally overrated. The fans may adore him now, but let's see how long that love affair lasts. L.A. Knight requested five minutes here tonight to show the SmackDown War Games team captain just what he's capable of. I think it's a great idea. And now both of these sluggers are going to be throwing haymakers trying to get a fast victory. Find out if L.A. Knight nails the audition or fails to get a callback. They're slamming their face down. to the face will free him. Oh, he's lost some of his win now. Uh-oh. Turning the tables there. Ooh, slam. With authority. Dodges. Breaker. Picture perfect. Carefully measuring. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. This maniac's out of control. That's a sadistic individual. He can sever an artery or suffer nerve damage after something like that. Or at least need a tetanus shot. He saw that one coming. Bicycle knee strike. This is making me nervous. Oh, on the apron! L.A. Knight's hopes are waiting. L.A. has run into a roadblock. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Hoist up their opponent, looking for burning hammer. Ah, oh, flipping the script down. Uh, pop up here. And a reverse power slam. What a move. Outside of the ring now. What's yeah. the plan here? Nice calf kick. Great elevation. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Double leg takedown. We're gonna stack them up here. Look at so Better hold up on the victory parade. Ooh, quick knee to the gut. Kick right on point. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Spear! Cover! 
two count. And that's all she wrote. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. Here is your winner, the Dark Horse, Ryan Rage! Inconceivable. How does this guy keep beating the odds? I don't believe it. It sounds like he had money on his opponents or something. Start believing, Corey. He can't let this loss weigh on his mind too much. LA Knight has come too far to let this knock him down.